Okay, well, had a look in the cupboard behind the bins today, and I found this. I'm pretty sure what's in here. So let's open it up and take a look. Here it is. Oh, and they've even sent some sweets. A new graphics card. And here it is. Next thing I've got to do is open up my computer, put the old graphics card out, and put this one in, and we'll see how it performs. Alrighty then, let's get to work. I've just realised, I put my computer out, and to get to my tools, they're all in this drawer. That was rather stupid of me. Well, there's the old graphics card out, so we'll put the new one in. Of course, I only have one hand free to do this, and I've got no way to mount the camera, so... I'll be back when I've slotted the new card in. Okay, there we are, all connected up good. This does use two more pins than my other card does, power-wise. But this only takes 10 watts more power than my old card does, so I think the power supply should be able to handle that. The only downside to this card is there is no VGA on it, so... I'm just going to have to scrounge up an HDMI lead, and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. We're all in. A little light's come on. Well, let's see if this works. It's very quiet. I'm not seeing anything on the monitor yet. Unless I just don't have it on the right thing. I know we've got power, because let's come on on the keyboard. Let's just try to put this onto the right thing and maybe that will come on. My monitor does not want to come on. Right, now if we can go to HDMI 1. Ah, there we are! It is working! Alright. That scared me for a moment because it wasn't doing anything, but... Got it now. And the temperatures outside are getting where they should be. The second out of all these 13 and 14 degree days that we've been having just lately. Okay, guess what, everybody? Guess what? The camera was recording the whole time while I thought it was paused. And paused the whole time while I thought it was recording. Again. I wish they'd put like two buttons on these cameras, you know, one to start and one to stop, that would solve everything. So anyway, it was only using the basic display adapter, I don't even know if any of that got recorded, because I don't know if the camera was paused or recording at the time. So anyway, I went to the window settings, and the screen turned off for a few seconds, then turned back on again, and it now says, no problems found, and it's using the right driver, so it appears to have installed a driver without me doing anything, so, um, yeah, we'll try this out with a few games and see if it works. There we go, turn the overscan off. And now I can see the buttons again. Right, so, let's finally try this out with some games. Right, okay, first we're going to try out Monster Truck Madness 2. Now, I have a glide wrapper for this game because a lot of the older games need it. thought we'd try it with first with something, you know. Nice and lightweight. Let's see if this runs. Okay, we've got... Yeah, I don't have this... doesn't have any sound for some reason, I don't know why. Um, let's see. I don't know why the sound isn't working. It might be putting the sound through the HDMI. Which I really don't want to do, because... Well... I've got separate speakers. 
Alright, we'll go to the control panel. Let's find sound. Oh yeah, you see? It's putting the sound through to my monitor, which doesn't even have speakers, so... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to use this as my default device. Okay, that should fix that little problem, so... Let's just try that again. Okay, okay. Now, why have you done that? Check in. Alright, let's go races. I haven't got my gamepad set up for this game, so... Let's go to the games here. We should have the little... Yep, there we go. And yep, this is working. In fact, if anything, it's even a little bit smoother than it was with my other card. I'm not going to bore you with hours and hours of gameplay, so... Let's up the challenge a little bit. Let's go Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. And this is with all the settings maxed out, by the way. I already took care of that. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing! Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing! Gotta make sure this is all working. Is that that one? Sega player. Grand Prix. We don't want to be boring old Sonic, do we? No, we want to be Tails. Because Tails is my favourite, as you may have gathered. I've only got the beginner difficulty unlocked at the moment. Trouble is, it's going to be difficult to game and hold the controller at the same time, so I don't quite know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hold the controller and the camera. Well, that's all we can ask, isn't it? Tails off to a bit of a jumpy start there. While Clem tries to hold the camera and the controller at the same time. Oh, Tails made a cute little noise. Of course, naturally. I'm the winner. No, I don't care if you gotta be free. Okay, since I got my new graphics card, we'll try the ultimate challenge. Or at least the most demanding game that I have. So I'm just downloading Crash Insane Trilogy, because as you probably know, I reinstalled Windows recently, so yeah, I've got to reinstall all my games. So I'm just downloading that from Steam. Steam. And Steamed Hands. Alright, well, here we are. Slight problem. Half of it's out the screen. Um, let's see if we can adjust that display settings. Where's display? One display. Okay, changes. I want to play this at 1080p anyway. Let's do it options, if I can get to options. Let's 
graphics. Well, look at that. Everything is on Ultra. This is going to be good. Windowed full screen. Yes, I want to apply the graphics. Right. Well, let's have a look then. Loading the Wumba Islands. And he's got his loading face on. Is it as smooth as I hope? I'll just go to some random level here. So this is with everything on the maximum settings. And oh yeah. Look at this. Now this is how I intended to play. I know on this camera you're only seeing it at 50 frames a second, but trust me. This is at the full 60 FPS. On ultra settings. And the camera was slowly drifting down. I cannot hold a camera and game at the same time. I try one of the levels that's a little more graphically intensive. Now, on my old graphics card, this would only have been doing about 17 frames a second. Yet here we've got a full 60. Go on, Coco, have some fun on the ice, you know you want to. I gotta hurry and save all these. Whoa, that's a big one. Whoa, that was close. Here's another game that was practically a slideshow on my old graphics card. Here I am playing this at full 1920 by 1080 resolution. All the settings maxed out. And look. With your eyes, Tails. Full 60 FPS, no trouble. Let's see how I did. Any day now. Let's see. I'm way better than that. What? I can't play a shadow or silver? Okay, my opinion of this sucks. Alright, I think it's time for a little bit of a rant here. So, yeah, I was going to try out the Minecraft beta, which has real-time ray tracing, but guess what? Guess what I have to do in order to get it? I have to download the Microsoft One Xbox Insider thingy. I've already forgotten what it's called. But in order to do that, I have to sign in to my Microsoft account, which I don't have. And then, I will have to download that from the Microsoft Store. Which again, is something I don't have. Because when I did my custom Windows 10 installation, that's something I took out. Because it's just unnecessary bloat. So no, I'm not going to sign in to Microsoft. You can just stick this right where the sun don't shine. I don't know why they couldn't put this on Steam or something like that. That would be so much better. Speaking of Steam though, I did find the Quake 2 RTX. So, we'll try that. Let's see how that looks. Yes, I want Steam to do the thing, right. Alright, yeah, we'll just do the demo, because that's all I want to do. I don't care that the NVIDIA control panel is not found, you can just bugger off. I want to see this real-time ray tracing. Oh, uh, game? Are you doing anything? A few moments later. 
Yeah, I'm not going to install the full game because this isn't my kind of game anyway, but I just want to see what it's like. Okay, yeah, we'll go to easy because I'm an absolute klutz at games. Alright, so here we are. Now, I don't know if this is going to respond to my gamepad. Okay, no, it's not. So I'm going to have to try and juggle the keyboard, camera and mouse all at the same time here. I'm sure I had tails flying. I don't know if I have to shoot that guy, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know right at the moment you can't really see how this looks because I'm trying to balance the camera, the keyboard and the mouse all on the same Let me just get this camera just a little bit more stay um there we go. Oh, wait, he's still in the You can bugger off too. Well, I've got to say, I am very happy with my new graphics card. Didn't I just kill you? At least you can see just exactly how bad I am at games. So, all in all, this has been a 100% success. Now as for these two relics, well, you know what I'm going to do with those? I'm going to build a brand new Franken PC. And this is what I'm going to do, my video editing, and my flash animation, and all that on, when I'm built it, of course.